Tip number 17, vendor take back mortgages. Okay, when you ask a vendor, first of all, always ask the vendor to carry a mortgage. Regardless if the real estate agent said yes or no, the vendor will or will not always ask for it. Because when the vendor has an offer to purchase and he wants to sell the property and the only thing he has to think of is that, should I carry 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, the guy's giving me 6% or should I not have a deal? There's a chance that the vendor will accept your VTB. Okay, there's a chance. I'm not saying it will always happen, but there's a chance that even if he said no, in your negotiation, at least you opened the door to it. You didn't close your door even before you made the offer to purchase. So always ask the vendor to carry a mortgage. Okay, now this mortgage should it be principal and interest. No, interest only. Why? Why would you want to pay principal and interest on a vendor take back mortgage when you want the highest cash flow possible? Do you care if you borrow two hundred thousand as a VTB now? In five years from now, if you still owe 200000 no, because you're going to sell the property. And the only difference is a few thousand dollars in principal, but you might need that cash in order for you to do renovations, put supplies, repair the roof and all that. So why would you do a second mortgage, a vendor take back, principal and interest? And if there's a challenge at one point, offer a balloon payment. After two years, I'll give you 5000 in principal. I could probably refinance, get more rent, you know. So... No interest, uh, sorry, no principal payment, and you might consider balloon payments over a period of time. Okay? So never do principal interest vendor take back mortgage. Talk to you soon. Next tip.